Reverend Insanity. Chapter 336. Hero Saves the Beauty. Rocks cracked and flew. The crocodile group hissed in pain. The large battle was at its end. Fang Yuan and Bai Ning Bing stood high on Huo Tan Mountain. Surrounding them were corpses of lava crocodiles. Meanwhile, the Thousand Beast King Lava Crocodile King was on the ground with all the bones in its body broken. The two protruding mini-volcano on its back were also smashed apart. It hissed in a soft voice as it laid flat on the ground with blood pouring out from countless wounds on its body. Its claws shook as it tried to rake the ground to drill underground, however it no longer had enough strength. Its struggles continued to decrease till death finally descended on it. With the death of the Thousand Beast King, the remaining lava crocodiles immediately scattered, drilling into the ground or fleeing in disarray. After roughly clearing up the battlefield, Fang and Bai resumed their journey. Jiao Huang and Meng Tu were hiding in a faraway corner without moving even a bit. These two famous assassins had quite an unsightly expression right now, just like zombies. They were scared. Are these two still humans? They contended against the whole lava crocodile group with just their own strength. Bai Ning Bing walks the ice path and greatly suppresses the lava crocodiles. That can't be helped, but the main thing is still that Fang Zheng, he is simply a monster in human skin. The more injuries he suffered, the stronger he became. At the end, he even sent the lava crocodile king flying easily. Jiao Huang and Meng Tu glanced at each other, both saw palpitation in each other's eyes. Fang and Bai's terrifying strength greatly exceeded their expectations. They did not live in Shang Clan City, so only after seeing the whole battle did they become deeply aware of Fang and Bai's terror. These two youths are seriously only around 20 years old. Screw that, compared to them, we were simply living a dog's life for the last 40 years of our career. Meng Tu cursed out in fear. Brother Meng Tu, don't say so. Hearing you say that, I am completely ashamed of myself. The older Jiao Huang heaved a deep sigh. Undoubtedly, these two are geniuses. Comparing oneself to others will only make you angry. We are simply not their match. If I had known this early, I would have never accepted this deal. Brother Jiao Huang, your words have spurred on my competitiveness and made me more indignant. This is still not finished, although we can't defeat them, we still have a chance, Meng Tu said as he spit out some saliva. Eh? What chance? Think of it, Brother Jiao Huang. They are going to Sancha Mountain to seek benefits from the Three Kings' inheritance. Sancha Mountain is extremely chaotic right now with rank 4 and rank 5 experts everywhere. They will definitely have to clash with others once they reach there. We will look for an opportunity while they are there. If we can take advantage of the situation while they are in trouble, that will be the best. Jiao Huang's eyes brightened upon hearing this reminder. He patted Meng Tu's shoulder. Brother, what you said makes sense. Let's go, go to Sancha Mountain. There was something fishy about that group of lava crocodiles. Fang Yuan fought along the way. The timing of the lava crocodiles and the area they appeared in were too coincidental. The moment they appeared, they firmly surrounded Fang and Bai. Bai Ning Bing did not sense anything wrong, but the astute Fang Yuan with his previous life's experience could smell a conspiracy. Fang Yuan was very familiar with such situations. Someone intentionally designed this trap and wanted to deal with me. But which side is it? Wu Clan, Bai Clan, or Shang Clan? Fang Yuan inwardly pondered. Because I know Lai Ran's identity and I have now left Shang Liang Mountain, there is a probability that Wu Clan would make a move. As for Bai Clan, I have become their enemy, I know the huge secret of their clan's spirit spring drying up and have extorted them of three million primeval stones, how could they not hate me? There is also Shang Clan. The amount of Shang Clansmen I have offended are also many. Shang Yazai, Shang Yifan, after buying that group of Y clansmen, I also offended Shang Pu Lao. In Shang clan's young master competition, I was one of the forces of Shang Xin Sai, and if I was to be eliminated outside, she would be greatly weakened. Forget it, let's not think too much about it. 
I will just deal with it as they come. Fang Yuan shook his head and threw the disorganized thoughts out of his mind, clearing his thoughts. If it was before when he was weak, he would have to exhaust all his energy to plan for everything. But now, his strength had increased by a lot, and he had the aura of someone who would not move no matter what wind attacked him. Central Continent Wind whistled through the sea of clouds. Ten thousand flying cranes were flapping their wings together. Fang Zheng and the other elite disciples of Immortal Crane sect stood or sat cross-legged on the flying cranes and hurried towards Tian Tai Mountain. Boss Fang Zheng, your crane group is really mighty. We will definitely shine brightly on this trip to Tian Tai Mountain and sweep through everything, an elite disciple said. He used a goo while speaking, so no matter how strong the wind blew, his voice was not obstructed and was clearly transmitted to everyone. You speak too highly of me. This time, the ones participating in the competition for Gu Immortal Bai whose inheritance are all elites from the Ten Great Sects. If we want to get the inheritance, not only do we need strength, but also luck. Boss Fang Zheng, you are too modest. With your myriad crane group, who can stop us? Immediately another elite disciple said. Boss Fang Zheng, you are my role model. No wonder you were dispatched to this mission by the sect leader after just becoming an elite disciple. On this trip to Tian Tai Mountain, we will only be following your lead. An elite female disciple said respectfully. On the way, Fang Zheng had sparred with all the elite disciples. He was very strong and also had a spirit incubating flea in his aperture. Lord Sky Crane's soul resided in the spirit incubating flea and would give guidance from time to time. There was also the support of the Myriad Crane group. Because of this, Fang Zheng defeated all the other elite disciples. He was not arrogant after his victory, he had a great bearing and was modest, easily winning everyone's good impressions and was pushed to become their head. They were all in admiration of Fang Zheng. Among the ten great sects of Central Continent, which one of them does not have deep foundations, I am sure they also have talented people among them. Although I have the Myriad Crane group, my weakness is that I can't control them fully. I still need to ask you all to provide guidance regarding the control of the flying cranes. Fang Zheng cupped his hands towards the people beside him. We wouldn't dare. It is our honor to be able to spar with Boss Fang Zheng. Boss, you have been cultivating so hard these days that it makes us blush with shame. Boss, your progress is remarkable. You have an innate talent in controlling the cranes. You only lacked practice before, and given some time, you are sure to surpass Sun Yuan Hua. The other elite disciples said words of agreement. Their words were from the depths of their hearts. On this journey, they could clearly notice Fang Zheng's progress. Fang Zheng smiled. With Lord Sky Crane providing guidance and secret experiences, and even controlling his body sometimes, how could he not improve at a lightning pace? After flying for some time, the Iron Beak flying cranes started to cry out one after another. Fang Zheng and the rest understood. All right, it is time we need to land and feed the flying cranes. Fang Zheng stamped, the flying crane group started to pierce down through the layer of clouds under his control. For a moment, it was only a scene of white vastness. Soon, the clouds and mist disappeared as the group flew down from the layer of clouds to the verdant and lush ground. Flying cranes also needed to eat. The larger the scale of the crane group, the higher their demand for food. Fortunately, Ironbeak flying cranes could eat anything. Sometimes they even ate stones to fill their stomachs, thus were very easy to raise. Fang Zheng possessed such a large-scale crane group, but it was also equally troublesome. After every set intervals, he would need to fly to the ground and feed the crane group. Eh? There is a battle going on. As they were descending down, an elite disciple suddenly spoke out. Everyone immediately discovered the unusual state on the ground. Four demonic goo masters were laughing evilly while surrounding three female goo masters and slowly nearing them. Tesk, it is the four great obscenities. Soon, an elite disciple exposed those four demonic goo masters' identity with a disgusted tone. 
These four great obscenities were separately, Eastern Obscenity Chen Yi Dao, Western Thief Yu Ba Guang, Southern Disturbance Shi Bao, and Northern Squandering Fan Chun Yao. They had been traveling all over Central Continent and were all rank four Gu Masters. They were extremely strong and were even able to contend against rank five Gu Masters when they combined their strength. Look, they are actually surrounding Fairy Bai Zia of Heavenly Lotus Sect. An elite disciple with sharp sight shouted, HMPH, demonic paths people, every single one of them needs to be executed. Fang Zheng's expression turned incomparably cold and immediately commanded the crane group to charge down without thinking much. Haha, <laughs> Fairy Bai Zia, it will be difficult for you to escape this calamity today. To think our luck is so good today to be able to smell the aroma of Fairy Bai Zia. Even if we suffered heavy injuries, it is worth it. The four great obscenities winked as they pressed on towards the three female goo masters. Damn it! Fairy Bai Zia gritted her snow-white teeth. She was seriously injured and did not have strength to break through. Just as she was starting to feel desperation and was thinking of committing suicide, she suddenly heard the cries of a group of cranes from above her. Who is it? The four great obscenities raised their heads and shouted. Immortal Crane Sex Elite Disciple Fang Zheng. Fang Zheng was standing on the back of the Iron Beak Flying Crane King. His tongue seemed to burst out with thunder. He stood upright and proudly on the crane's back. His body was robust, his brows thick and his eyes like that of a tiger's. He fixed his gaze on the four obscenities and waved his hand. The elite disciples behind him and 10,000 iron beak flying cranes passed him and charged towards the four obscenities. Heavens, so many cranes. It is one of the ten great sects, the elite disciples of the immortal crane sect. What bad luck, we have injuries and can't contend against this group, let's retreat. The four great obscenities sized the situation before turning to flee and soon they had escaped far away. Their figures disappeared from everyone's sight. These demonic path trash, they might not have other abilities, but they are pretty quick in running. The elite disciples laughed loudly. Are you okay? Fang Zheng got off from the back of the crane and approached Fairy Bai Zia, asking softly. I, I am okay. Thank you young master Fang Zheng for saving me. Fairy Bai Zia looked at Fang Zheng. Her face blushed red and her gaze carried hints of infatuation. She had thought she would not be able to escape this calamity, but a hero came falling from the sky. Fang Zheng was like the hero saving the beauty and it left a deep impression on Fairy Bai Zia. Chapter 337 Leaving Somebody in the Lurch Two young babies, leave behind your primeval stones, strip off your clothes and kowtow to your grandpa thrice, and I shall spare your little lives. Gahaha. A rank three old demonic goo master with disheveled hair suddenly appeared and blocked Fang Yuan and Bai Ning Bing's way. Hee hee, the old monster high, she is making it difficult for newbies again. These two youths are out of luck considering they ran into the old monster Haishi. That girl looks quite pretty. Why does she look somewhat familiar? It is a pity the old monster high she is here, otherwise we would have made a move. From within the darkness, many demonic goo masters looked here with sinister smiles on their faces. Bam! Fang Yuan's response was straightforward. He directly summoned his beast phantom. The moment he made a move, the breath concealment goo lost its effect, and his rank 4 aura was revealed in its whole. Shock and desperation immediately showed on the old monster Hai Shi's face. He wanted to escape, but Bai Ning Bing also made a move at the same time and kept him in check. The old monster Hai Shi was directly struck by Beast Phantom and turned into minced meat. Blood, bone pieces, and brain matter mixed together and splattered all around. I, what the FCK? Oh God, these two youths are both rank four goo masters. I remember it now, they are black and white twin demons. One is called Fang Zheng and another is Bai Ning Bing. Both are geniuses of the demonic path. 
They have made great names for themselves in Shang Clan City's battle stage, especially Fang Zheng, people call him Little Beast King, almost having hegemony over the whole battle stage. Why are these two guys here? The temptation of San Cha Mountain's inheritance is too big, they were also attracted by it. Old Monster High she kicked an iron board, his death was really tragic. Many Goo Masters watching from the darkness as they opened their eyes wide in extreme shock and fear. HMPH, Fang Yuan was not satisfied with killing the old monster Hai Shi. With a shift of his mind, he activated another beast phantom and charged towards a specific shadow. Bam! A huge sound resounded, the demonic Goo Master hiding in the shadow directly exploded into meat paste by Fang Yuan's attack. Countless demonic goo masters drew in a sharp breath of cold air from the darkness. Jin Cheng An also died. Little Beast King has a heavy murderous nature, he doesn't let even spectators go. Let's go, let's go. Even the old monster high, she could not resist their one move, it will be too late if we don't hurry now. Trees shook, stones were lifted up, countless shadows scuttled out, fleeing towards every direction. Fang Yuan and Bai Ningbing quietly watched this and did not block them. As they got closer to Sancha Mountain, the demonic goo masters they ran into also increased. During ordinary times, one could only occasionally run into these guys. However, Sancha Mountain was like a fragrant honey that attracted all kinds of flies, bees, and so on. We have yet to reach Sancha Mountain, but we have seen all kinds of demons and ghosts fighting each other. It is obvious how chaotic the situation over at San Cha Mountain is now. Bai Ning Bing's expression was indifferent, but her tone was slightly heavy. Several months had already passed since the Three Kings' inheritance appeared on San Cha Mountain. This caused a huge disturbance in southern border. Countless figures appeared one after another and rushed towards there. Righteous Path and Demonic Path fought against each other for a place in the quota to enter the inheritance. Sancha Mountain had already changed into a slaughterhouse. Every day there was large amounts of lives lost in open fights and schemes. Kill them all, gain notoriety through killing. Kill until these people tremble in fear, only then will they not dare to lightly provoke us. Fang Yuan smiled coldly, his eyes filled with thick killing intent. Fang Yuan was fully aware that reputation was very important when one went outside. Fang Yuan and Bai Ningbing were living in Shang Clan City all this while, although their fame had spread, it was mostly limited to within the city. Most people had not heard about Fang and Bai. Killing all that stands in their way, killing to gain fame. This would be an enormous help to Fang Yuan's future plans. All right, let's continue using breath concealment goo and hide our rank 4 aura. Killing like this is really splendid and very interesting. We can leave deep impressions on others and make them remember us for their whole lives. Bai Ningbing smiled, her blue eyes shone with cold light. Her beauty was like that of a snow fairy, untouched by the mortal world. Her tone, however, was like a bloody, poisonous scorpion, and was filled with terrifying killing intent. Breath-concealing goo was only a rank 3 goo. Fang and Bai were barely able to use it to conceal their rank 4 cultivation. Fang Yuan advanced to rank 4 initial stage, and he needed to replace many of his goo. Bai Ningbing was also the same. Three Kings Inheritance has many of the goo I need. As long as I obtain those goo, my set of strength path goo worms will push towards completion. It will also provide me great help in advancing to rank 5 and allow me to dominate the mortal realm. Calculating the time, the Hu Immortal Blessed Land in Central Continent should also have opened. Fairy Bai, who was a rank 6 Gu Immortal, and the inheritance she had left behind is intact, it is many times better than the Three Kings' inheritance. Unfortunately, I am not in Central Continent. No, even if I were in Central Continent, I am not a disciple of the Ten Great Sects and thus cannot participate in the contest at Tian Tai Mountain. Sigh, such a pity. Fang Yuan gazed far away towards the direction of Central Continent before continuing to move forward. Bai Ningbing was silent as she walked alongside Fang Yuan. 
The two crossed mountains and charged around everywhere. They would directly kill any demonic goo masters or righteous goo masters they met. Their vicious reputation quickly spread. In Fang Yuan's view, at every stage, there was an appropriate manner to developing oneself. When one was weak, they should keep a low profile and do things secretly, suffering patiently and growing stealthily. When they were strong, they should spread their name and strike when the timing was right, making others feel fear and terror. Sometimes reputation was a much stronger weapon than strength. Soon, Binding Bing realized the advantage of reputation. When they had just started on the journey, the Goo Masters along the way often tried to make things difficult for them. Just like that old monster Hai Shi, daring to jump out with just a mere rank 3 cultivation. Fang and Bai were young, moreover Bai Ning Bing's stunning appearance caused others to have an impulse to commit crime. Now, however, even though Fang and Bai were using breath concealment goo and hiding their cultivation, their path was unimpeded, saving them a lot of trouble. They had yet to truly reach Sancha Mountain, but their evil reputation had already spread till there. Good deeds remain obscured while bad deeds spread over a thousand miles. Such evil reputation was the fastest to spread. Right now, Everyone knew there were two terrifying demonic path, rising stars, rank four geniuses, killing their way towards Sancha Mountain, two who were very aggressive and easily killed people. This day, they finally reached the foot of Sancha Mountain. Sounds of a fight suddenly came from ahead. Don't come here, don't come. A female goo master shouted with terror all over her face and was faintly gasping her clothing in rags, revealing her beautiful shoulders and thighs. Pehe, <laughs> little beauty, quietly obey us. If you resist anymore, be careful that I might just slash your pretty face. Don't resist. Let us big brothers give you a taste of euphoria, ha ha ha. The demonic goo master's eyes shone with a wolf-like green light as they continuously charged towards the female goo master. The female goo master resisted with all her might, but she was alone and her strength was not enough. The situation was in full control of the several demonic goo masters. Damn it, damn it. The female goo master bit her full lower lip with her pure white teeth, her face filled with anxiety and terror. She retreated bit by bit, the clothings on her body were slowly cut open. Her smooth legs were exposed and her thick hair was in a mess. As she escaped, her chest bobbed like a white rabbit, which provoked the attacking demonic goo masters to let out wolfish howls. Can anyone save me? Can anyone save me? I have 30,000 primeval stones here. The female goo master shouted, her weak voice further stimulate the desire in these goo masters. Nobody moves. This little girl is our ten tyrants. Pray, wait till our boss comes over. That's right, we don't want the 30,000 primeval stones. We will enjoy this first, the rest of you can take turns later. Gahaha. Some righteous goo masters were just about to make their moves to rescue the girl, but when they heard the name of ten tyrants, they immediately chose to shrink back. The boss of the ten tyrants was a rank four goo master. Who can save me, please save me? The female goo master shouted sadly like the lament of a cuckoo. She kept on running, asking for help everywhere, but wherever she went, the Goo Masters would all retreat and avoid her. Only Fang and Bai stood on their spots, watching indifferently. Two lords, please, I pray you for mercy, please save me. The female Goo Master's eyes shone with hope. The weeping beauty ran towards Fang Yuan and pleaded. Where did these two brats come from? Mind your own business. We are Nan Mountain's ten tyrants, you two young juniors, eh? This can't be. These few demonic goo masters suddenly paled when they recognized Fang and Bai's identity. Although that person is disguising as a male, she is a female. These two, one man and one woman, black cloth, black hair and black eyes, white cloth, silver hair and blue eyes, aren't they the recently famous black and white twin demons? The demonic goo masters immediately stopped. They fixed their gazes at Fang and Bai with profound fear. Fang and Bai's reputation were the number one thing they heard recently. 
these two might be young but were true geniuses of the demonic path. They were both extremely ruthless and had a murderous nature. Most importantly, they both had rank 4 cultivation. Such cultivation was terrifying. Rank 1 were considered substandard, rank 2 could be said to be lackeys, while rank 3 were the main pillars and held their own. Rank 4 were already experts among Gu masters and were the leaders of ordinary clans. Even in Ten Tyrants, only their boss was at rank 4 middle stage. As for rank 5, they stood at the peak of the mortal world and were very few in numbers. Even in southern border with hundreds of thousands of mountains and countless heroes, there were only over a hundred rank 5 Gu masters. Lord Twin Demons, save me, please save me. The female Gu master found a way out of her predicament and knelt on the ground in front of Fang and Bai, imploring. The surrounding Gu masters all casted their gazes here. These two are the black and white twin demons who just recently became famous, they are unexpectedly so young. Ten tyrants against black and white twin demons, one has been famous for a long time while the other are rising stars of the demonic path, this should be interesting. As long as the boss of the ten tyrants does not show up, they are no match for black and white twin demons. Black and white twin demons got a bargain, getting that beauty for free. PFFT, Little Beast King will have beauties on his left and right, he really has luck with women. Under everyone's gazes, Fang Yuan took a light step back. Save you? Why would I save you? Because of your superficial beauty, or do you think I am a kind person and like helping people? Fang Yuan looked down at the kneeling Gu Master, his gaze cold and indifferent. The female Gu Master stupidly raised her head to look at Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan coldly smiled, then looked at the Ten Tyrants members behind him. You can continue, I won't make a move. I've had such a tedious journey coming here, please do give me a good show. Chapter 338, Who May Err? Hearing Fang Yuan say that, a few members of Ten Tyrants showed a softer expression. Next, one of them pounced and kept the female Gu Master on the ground. The female Gu Master struggled to no avail as this member of Ten Tyrants laughed and pulled with his demonic palm. Tusk. The silk clothing of the female Gu Master was torn open, showing her underwear. Such a scene caused the people to howl like a wolf as the demonic Gu Masters were very aroused. Many righteous Gu Masters gritted their teeth secretly. Someone wanted to stop them, but was stopped by another. Don't do anything. There is not only the ten tyrants here, but also the black and white twin demons, are you courting death? Moreover, that female goo master is not a righteous character. You don't have to involve yourself. Damn, members of the demonic path are truly scum of the world, unscrupulous and shameless. Some goo masters were indignant, clenching their fists. Many female goo masters looked away, shutting their eyes. No, no, I'm begging you, please stop, that female goo master cried out in despair. Ai Ningbing was expressionless as she stared at Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan was sneering, looking at the scene. My respects to the two black and white twin demons. We will report your act of friendship to our boss, since you gave the opportunity to us and merely watched. A goo master of ten tyrants walked up and cupped his fists towards Fang and Bai, smiling respectfully. The other members walked to the female goo master. One of them spit out some phlegm, cursing. Little slut, do you think you can seduce the two Lord Black and White Twin Demons by begging? Naive, stupid. You sure ran fast, next I will make sure you enjoy yourself. Haha, <laughs> another person laughed lecherously, looking extremely perverted. As for the person on top of the female goo master, he was about to attack. At this moment, a pink light appeared from the female goo master's body and exploded. The male goo master was caught off guard and sent flying. He was like a comet, flying far away, landing after a hundred steps away, fainted. What? This female goo master is trying something funny, let's attack together. What guts, you dare to resist us? The other members of the Ten Tyrants shouted as they pounced at the female Goo Master. But the next moment, the pink light flashed again, and intense screams were heard. 
the members of Ten Tyrant were sent flying all together. The pink light displayed the female Goo Master's overwhelming battle strength as she had a luring and evil gaze, the disguise on her was completely removed, showing her true flirtatious appearance. The members of Ten Tyrant were lying on the ground shocked. Who knows what methods she used, causing them to be weak and powerless on the ground, unable to get up. The fierce and evil Ten Tyrant members were actually not the female Goo Master's match. Such a sudden change caused everyone's expressions to change. Many people watched speechlessly, extremely surprised. Only Fang Yuan's expression remained the same, as if he knew all along. The female Goo Master laughed, after showing her true appearance, her alluring eyes were soul-stealing. A slender body with perfect curves, like a flowering peach in spring, made everyone extremely comfortable. During this period, the members of Ten Tyrant got up. Their strength slowly recovered. But even so, the shock on their faces were still apparently. They felt a real rank 4 aura from the female Goo Master. This female Goo Master's cultivation was actually rank 4. Numerous people's expressions changed when they found out. Little Beast King, you left a maiden in distress, are you a man? The female Goo Master looked at Fang Yuan, showing an upset, annoyed expression, causing people greatly pity her. At once, all the males stared at her fixedly. Many Goo Master started to be jealous Fang Yuan. If this woman would give them one glance, it was worth dying for. But Fang Yuan had no emotions, his tone was like ice, chilling to the bone. Who may err, uh, do you think this level of acting can trick me? The female Goo Master's pupils shrunk. She did not expect Fang Yuan to expose her identity so easily. But she quickly recovered, her lips pouting. To think that my lowly name is known by Lord Little Beast King. It is my great honor, but before I exposed my true appearance, how did Lord manage to find out? Fang Yuan laughed heartily. Before you showed your true self, I was only guessing. But whether I guessed right or wrong, I have no losses, am I right? Even if Hu Mei Er was a demonic goo master, upon hearing Fang Yuan's cruel words, her heart chilled. It is actually her. This woman is famous in the demonic path, she is very scary. An expert at disguise, don't be moved by her appearance, she is a demoness that devours people whole, she is completely ruthless. Hu Mei Er has a broad network, she has slept with many demonic goo masters, why did the ten tyrants provoke her? Ten tyrants' members helped each other up as their faces were pale without a trace of blood. By now, they had already understood they were obviously toyed by Hu Mei Er. Hu Mei Er had rank 4 cultivation, it was easy for her to deal with them. Her earlier disguise and performance was just to toy with them, she was trying to use them to probe and get close to the black and white demons. But Little Beast King had sharp eyes, he actually saw through her disguise. Ha ha ha, Fang Zheng, you are truly heartless, but don't be too smug. You two have been too famous these few days, now the entire Sancha Mountain knows that two demonic path geniuses are here. Be it righteous or demonic path, many seniors and experts are now trying to test you. You have offended many people, I advise you to stop here. Otherwise, you might lose your life when you ascend the mountain. Who may er laughed. Oh, that means you are the first person sent to test us. He he, why are you worrying about our safety? As for offending people, the one thing I am not afraid of is offending people. So what if I offend every human alive? Fang Yuan spoke plainly, but his words were chilling. Hu Mei Er listened as her eyes glowed brightly, showing excitement in her eyes. She laughed while covering her mouth. Well said, what great courage, I like it. Not afraid to offend people. Then let me tell you, you look down on my appearance, that is offending me. In this world, only villains and women are hard to please. I am not only a woman, but also a villain. Hey hey, little beast king, let's see who laughs till the end. I hope you can leave the mountain alive. Hu Mei Er said with a sharp gaze as she turned to leave immediately. Everyone watched her pink dress flutter in the wind, her beautiful appearance as she left, leaving everyone speechless. Hu Mei Er, Fang Yuan laughed coldly in his heart. 
This who may err was a demoness in the demonic path. She was very mysterious, no one knew her origins. In his previous life, she was very active, causing problems everywhere, sowing discord, causing fights and disputes wherever she went. She cultivated the enchantment path, specifically enchanting people. Using her appearance, she controlled many demonic experts, and she had many puppets all over southern border. Among them, there were even rank 5 goo masters. There were even rank 4 goo masters who fought due to jealousy over her. However, others did not know her origins, but Fang Yuan knew. This demoness had a great origin, she was the granddaughter of Granny Mei Hua. Granny Mei Hua was a rank 6 Gu immortal in southern border, occupying the Mei Hua blessed land. The demoness seduced men all over southern border and had a specific interest in young men. In his previous life, a hundred years from now, she would gather her force and head to Roman 11 Yang Mountain. Nobody knew what happened on the mountain, but the result was, she alone left the mountain. What was worth mentioning was, she ascended the mountain as a rank 4 Gu Master, but she descended as rank 5 Peak Stage. This demoness has an unspeakable secret. Right now, she is starting to display her enchantment path and recruiting people. To think that she would develop an interest in me this time? Fang Yuan compared his lives and exclaimed. He used the advantages of rebirth to grow quickly and became chosen by Hu Mei Er. Hu Mei Er was interested in his potential and wanted to seduce him into her puppet. But how could that happen? HMPH, in the 500 years of my past life, I had already eliminated my mortal desires. But the enchantment path has its strengths. I cannot be unguarded. Hu Mei Er must have gone to incite people to find trouble with me. She has the goo from Granny Mei Hua, if I want to kill her, I will need ample preparation and isolate that goo from her. He he, I wonder which blind fool would dare to find trouble with me. Fang Yuan analyzed in his heart. Since he could not kill Hu Mei Er at the moment, he could only deal with the situation step by step. Right now, Hu Mei Er's enchantment path had not reached greater success, she only had rank 4 goo masters under her charm. As long as they are not rank 5, Fang Yuan had no fear. He was confident that with his experience and this set of goo worms, even if he cannot win, he will not lose. Central Continent, Tian Tai Mountain. Riding the flying crane, Fang Zheng and others traveled days and nights before arriving. Before them, many elite disciples from the other ten sects had already arrived. It is the people from Immortal Crane Sect. Hmm? Why did Fairy Bai Zia from Heavenly Lotus Sect come with Immortal Crane Sect? Who is that lad? Fairy Bai Zia is talking so happily with him, I have never seen Fairy Bai Zia speak so nicely to a guy from the same generation before. Fang Zheng and the other's arrival attracted everyone's attention. Bai Zia, you arrived too. Do you know, since our last separation, I have been wanting to meet you again. This time, at the Hu Immortal Inheritance, I expected you to come. Thus, I begged my master to let me come here as well. A young man saw Fairy Bai Zia and quickly came over. Bai Zia was speaking and laughing with Fang Zheng, but upon seeing him, her smile vanished. Chapter 339 Trouble Oh, it is Sir Wai. No need to worry, thanks to young hero Fang Zheng, Bai Zia is safe and sound. Fairy Bai Zia avoided Wai Wu Shang's gaze and greeted. Young hero Fang? Wai Wu Shang squinted, looking at Fang Zheng who was standing beside Fairy Bai Zia. Hello, I am Immortal Crane Sex Fang Zheng. Fang Zheng smiled lightly, cupping his fists and greeting, oozing with friendliness. Young hero Fang Zheng, an elite disciple of Immortal Crane Sect, the number one in the most recent middle examination. He can control 10,000 cranes, thanks to these cranes, we could reach Tian Tai Mountain so quickly. Fairy Bai Zia said, while looking at Fang Zheng, her face blushing shyly as her tone carried a faint sweetness. Along the way, she had conversed with Fang Zheng and felt that they hit it off. Immortal crane? These are just iron beak flying reins, although the number is a little large. Wai Wu Shang's eyes shone coldly, feeling extremely angry towards Fang Zheng. 
he gritted his teeth, greeting Fang Zheng back. Fang Zheng, you are an elite disciple of Immortal Crane Sect? That's great. I've long heard of Immortal Crane Sect's crane manipulation skill, I have always wanted to face off against it. I would appreciate it if you would spar with me. Saying so, Wai Wu Sheng took large steps forward, his eyes glowing with overbearingness as he stared at Fang Zheng. Fang Zheng was stunned as he sensed animosity, feeling absurdity from the issue. Ha ha ha. In his mind, Lord Sky Crane laughed loudly. A beauty's gratitude is the biggest problem, my disciple. The act of saving that little lass Bai Zia has brought you many enemies. This young girl Bai Zia is a great beauty. Now that she likes you, you have trouble ahead. This Wai Wu Sheng is your first challenger. Huh? Likes me? Fang Zheng shouted in his mind. Speaking of love, he felt a deep sorrow in his heart. These years, he had a girl's image deep in his heart. She was immortal, she was very normal, very ordinary, and much, much inferior to Fairy Bai Zia. But in Fang Zheng's heart, she had an extraordinary cuteness. The times he spent with her were the best memories in Fang Zheng's heart. Unfortunately, she was already dead, no longer in this world. She was Shen Kui, Fang Zheng's former servant. Thinking of Shen Kui, Fang Yuan's heart sank. The girl I liked is dead. Master, you know how hard I've worked these years. My biggest goal is to defeat my brother and take revenge for my ancestors, my uncle and aunt, Shen Kui, Lord Clan Leader, Lord King Shu, and fulfill their wishes. Although Gu Yu Village was destroyed, the Gu Yu bloodline still exists. Ha ha ha, my foolish disciple, even if that is what you want, this Wai Wu Sheng will not let you off. Since you decided to save Fairy Bai Zia, why didn't you realize that? Lord Sky Crane laughed. But, I do not want to spar with him. I've heard of this Wai Wu Sheng in Immortal Crane Sect. He is a healing goo master, a rising star in Heaven's Envy Sect, a strong, a grade aptitude genius. He is most skilled in healing himself, often leaving unscathed after a battle. If I battle him, even if I win, my condition will not be at its peak. It will negatively affect my performance when competing for the Gu Immortal Inheritance. Lord Sky Crane laughed heartily. Don't worry, go ahead and fight. The Hu Immortal Inheritance on Tian Tai Mountain is special. It will not make you compete in terms of battle strength, it is a contest of willpower and determination. With my soul assisting you secretly, you have a great advantage. After pausing for a while, Lord Sky Crane continued, you are still too young, you do not know the usefulness of reputation. Sometimes, reputation is more useful than strength. This is a rare opportunity, defeat these challengers and improve your reputation. Use the flying cranes and don't worry about their deaths. We have lots of cranes in Immortal Crane Sect, even if you use them all, we can return to the sect and replenish your army. Hearing his master say so, Fang Zheng sighed, saying to Wai Wu Shang, since you want to battle, so be it. Excellent, please. Wai Wu Shang sneered, stomping and shooting into the air like lightning. Fang Zheng did not show any weakness, waving his hand and stepping on a flying crane as 10,000 cranes cried out together as if greeting their king. Once the battle began, everyone got excited. Boss Fang Zheng, all the best, defeat this sissy from Heaven's Envy sect. Immortal Crane Sex Elite Disciples shouted. Junior Brother Wai, teach this lad a lesson. Wai Wu Sheng had his supporters. Wai Wu Sheng nodded, intense battle intent burning in his eyes. He was the leader of the elite disciples sent by Heaven's Envy Sect this time. Fang Zheng's 10,000 Crane group could scare ordinary elite disciples, but not him. He had his own trump card. Battle! Wai Wu Shang activated the goo worms in his body as his body flashed in the air and vanished. The next moment, the space was torn apart as he traveled through several hundred steps away, directly appearing in front of Fang Zheng. Space piercing goo? Even Lord Sky Crane was shocked. An intense battle unfolded. At the same time, on Sancha Mountain. In a certain cave, the ten tyrants gathered. That means you were all used by Hume Er to test the black and white demons? 
the leader of ten tyrants, Tyrant Hang Mei, muttered. That's right, boss, that demoness tricked us all and even injured seventh and tenth brother. Boss, you have to avenge us. The second brother of ten tyrants shouted. Smack, Tyrant Hang Mei slapped. The second brother of ten tyrant was harshly slapped on his cheeks, his body turning on the spot. Bo, boss, he held his face, looking at Tyrant Hang Mei in shock. Heavily injured? That is perfect, as long as they're not dead. You bunch with sperms for brains, control your lower body. I instructed you earlier to mind your actions and words already. Do you really think this is still Nan Mountain? Tyrant Heng Mei scolded. Wrong. This is San Cha Mountain. Be it Kong Rai Tian, Long King Chan, or Wu Shen Tong Yi Chung, all of them can kill you like an ant easily. Although you have rank 3 cultivation, what is the most important reason you are able to stay here? Isn't it all due to me? HMPH, this matter is a warning to all of you. I have to tell you, don't find problems with who may err. This demoness seduces men to their death, she has a wide network. She is involved with Lin Sankai, has rumors with Lai Zion, and even Mo Wu Tian. Tyrant Hang Mei's words shocked the nine brothers. Lin Sankai was a rank four demonic goo master, he was not only skilled in the metal path, but was also an earth path goo master. His metal and earth specialty was renowned through the land. Lai Zio was similarly just as strong, he was not a native of southern border, but came from eastern sea. He was an unscrupulous merchant famous among the demonic path members, most skilled at finding opportunities to buy low and sell high. His network and human relationships were wide. Many daimonic Gu Master's loot were sold off by him. As for Mo Wu Tian, he is even scarier. He inherited a mysterious inheritance of an ancient Gu Immortal and was the number one rising star of the demonic path, an absolute young genius. Be it Lin Sankai, Lai Zion, or Mo Wu Tian, they are all rank four Gu Masters. These famous people are all related to that demoness. The members of Ten Tyrant heard this and went pale, their hearts palpitating with fear. I'll tell you one last time, this is not Nan Mountain. Sigh, I asked you all to use your brains often and learn from mistakes, but you refuse to listen. Sigh, this Three Kings inheritance is not a small matter. Who knows how many formidable characters would show up? Tyrant Hang may sighed as he said. The other brothers looked at each other, speechless. Tyrant Heng may saw that the time was right and changed the topic. But no need to worry, on Sancha Mountain now, the rank 4 and 5 Gu Masters are restraining each other, no one dares to act rashly. We the ten tyrants of Nan Mountain are not to be trifled with. We cannot take this lying down, let's go, accompany me to find the black and white demons. Boss, you're going personally to find the black and white demons? Someone expressed shock. Boss, you are rank four middle stage, a senior of the demonic path. When you were roaming in the world, they were still babies. That's right, boss. We'll go and ask them to come. You giving them an audience is their honor. HMPH, what do you know? Tyrant Heng Mei chided. The black and white demons are so young. The fact that they did not attack you this time means they know of my name and know how to hold back. But they are youngsters, they love their face. If I put down my ego and go to meet them personally, it is giving them full respect. Next, if I mention working together and come up with a plan to deal with who may err, they are sure to agree. Haha. <laughs> Boss, I understand, you are using them as the vanguard. Boss, you are a genius. This, black and white demons are only around 20 years old, they are too young, now they and who may err are at odds, if they hear your suggestion, they would be extremely thrilled. Once boss plans, it truly is phenomenal. The ten tyrant members started bootlicking their boss. Ha ha ha. Tyrant Heng may laughed loudly, waving his hand. Brother, come with me to visit the black and white demons. Fang Yuan and Bai Ning Bing looked up at San Cha Mountain Peak. This San Cha Mountain has a peculiar design. From the mountain foot, it goes up to three hills. Looking from afar, it resembles a fork with three tips, pointing at the sky. 
Above the three peaks are the entrances to the three kings' inheritance. Every once in a while, the mountain peak would shoot out three beams of light and allow people to enter. Once the number of people reach an amount, the light pillar to vanish and the entrance would disappear. After that, Gu masters who failed to pass through the tests would be thrown out from time to time. Of course, there are also many deaths inside the inheritance every time. There is about eight days till the next opening of the inheritance. Let's find a place to settle down for now. Fang Yuan gave the surroundings a sweeping gaze as he saw a cave in the middle of the mountain waste. Chapter 340 Beaten to a Pulp Sancha Mountain was originally a place no one showed interest towards, and was a place Qi clan and Zuo clan had interactions. However, since the inheritance opened, it had become extremely lively and there would be people moving through the forests frequently. Clashes and disputes occurred frequently, right now it was still relatively peaceful. Every time the light pillar opened, the entry quota was limited. At that time, it would be a scene of carnage at Sancha Mountain. To fight for a chance to enter the inheritance, all the Gu masters chose to stay on the mountain. This led to a phenomenon. The stronger the Gu masters, the closer towards the mountain peak they stayed. This caused them to be in a favorable position when the inheritance appeared, since they could much easily rush towards it. The cave Fang Yuan chose was on the middle of the mountain. From the traces around the cave, there was clearly someone living in it. Sure enough, when they got near the cave, a loud and clear voice was transmitted from within the cave, this is my, Mang Quang's territory. Get lost, or else you will die a violent death. Ha ha ha, Mang Quang? What crap is that? This place is pretty good. I have taken a liking to it. Get lost. Fang Yuan laughed outside the cave and issued an ultimatum. Screw your GRD mother. You want it the hard way. Since you are looking to die, then don't blame me for being ruthless. Following the voice, a burly man walked out of the cave. His upper body was bare. He was wearing a worn-out hemp-knitted shorts, cyan snake scales covered his whole body. His face was covered with long beard, blood veins showed on his eyes, and his black hair fell down his head in disarray. He walked out of the cave looking like a furious fiend. Two blind fools, eh? Mang Quang looked at Fang and Bai. He was cursing with his rough voice when suddenly his pupils shrunk and his jaw opened wide. His gaze revealed a bewildered expression. You too, could you be the black and white twin demons? What do you think? Bai Ningbing laughed faintly, her blue eyes flashing with killing intent. Mang Quang only felt chills rising from his back and spreading over his body in seconds. Black and white twin demons were rank 4 Gu Masters, while he was only at rank 3 upper stage. Moreover, he had heard about how these two killed without blinking their eyes, and how cruel their methods were. Damn it! I have been hiding here without doing anything, what did I do to deserve this? This really is misfortune dropping from the sky, Mang Quang's thoughts were in disorder. In an instant, the vicious face suddenly changed. The raised eyebrows drooped, the wide-opened eyes narrowed down to a slit, the bent corner of his lips immediately rose up into a smile, he did everything he could to show his goodwill. It is my greatest fortune in this life for both lords to take a liking to my cave. Mang Quang bent his back and rubbed his hands, giving a flattering smile towards Fang and Bai. His body was tall and robust, but when he shrunk down and bent his back, his original rampant domineering aura immediately disappeared into oblivion. This matched with his boorish appearance was simply like a clown fiesta. Hmm, you are sensible, you can get lost now. Fang Yuan waved his hand. Yes, yes, yes. Mang Quang seemed to have received an amnesty as he slipped out and immediately ran far away. After forcing out Mang Quang, Fang Yuan and Bai Ningbing entered the cave together. The cave was already arranged properly by Mang Quang, and they did not need to waste their energy to make any arrangements. Sancha Mountain is filled with danger, we will take turns to stay guard at night for the next eight days. If one sleeps, the other must be awake. Fang Yuan warned Bai Ningbing. Naturally, Bai Ningbing nodded. 
Huey Mayer won't leave it at that. We will be facing constant troubles in these eight days. However, it is also good that these people are sending themselves to us. We can establish our might, and that matches with our intention. Fang Yuan had just finished saying this when a voice came from outside the cave. Are black and white twin demons inside? I am Tyrant Hang Mei, I have long looked forward to meeting you too. This time, I especially came in to pay a visit. Tyrant Hang Mei? Isn't he the boss of ten tyrants? I heard he is very cruel, cultivates strength path, likes to eat little children's flesh, and has spread fear over Nanshan. Bai Ningbing glanced at Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan sneered inside. He had planned to go find trouble with this tyrant Hang Mei, but to think the latter actually dropped in himself. The two walked out of the cave and looked at the eight people standing outside the cave. At the front was a robust body, bare and flat chest, black chest hair growing all over his chest. A dense aura of rank four middle stage was let out from all over his body. However, this demonic path's figure famous for his savageness was wearing a smile right now. When he saw Fang and Bai, he immediately cupped his hands and one could only take him as an elegant black bear at first glance. To think the black and white twin demons had such large background. Tyrant Hang Mei had intentionally spoken in a loud voice and attracted the attention of many nearby Gu masters. Even Tyrant Hang Mei came to pay a visit to them personally. Many were surprised. Fortunately, I ran out. When did Tyrant Hang Mei become so polite? Mang Quang still had not run far away. Right now he touched his chest and felt the lingering fear. Tyrant Hang Mei, it is good you came, I was just about to visit you. Fang Yuan responded. Tyrant Hang Mei's smile became even deeper, thinking Fang Yuan was going to pay a visit to him. But who knew Fang Yuan's next words immediately caused his smile to stiffen. I heard you are also a strength path goo master. Let's enjoy a battle of life and death and determine who is stronger. I, Fang Zheng, am walking the strength path and am going to become the number one in the strength path. Hand over your life. Finished speaking, Fang Yuan activated his Gu and directly launched an assault at Tyrant Hang Mei. What? Tyrant Hang Mei came back to his senses. He was startled and also furious. He had broken the tradition and came to pay a visit, but to think this Fang Zheng was an ungrateful guy and attacked him without saying anything further. This what kind of person is this? Is this still a person? The nerves in his brain are jumbled up, right? Fang Yuan did not care about his thoughts as he charged quickly towards Tyrant Heng Mei. All-out effort Gu. Without saying any words, he directly attacked. GRRR. A brown bear phantom appeared from behind him. Violent strength Gu. Tyrant Heng Mei opened his eyes with anger. He did not dodge but put his arms up to block head-on. With the activation of violent strength Gu, his body enlarged and increased his strength sharply. Bam. Fang Yuan fiercely smashed into Tyrant Hang Mei, sending the latter back by five steps while he himself bounced back from the terrifying strength. Tyrant Hang Mei was at rank four middle stage and commanded the other nine members of ten tyrants. He had lorded over Nan Mountain for many years and had deep foundations. HMPH, little beast king, I gave you face but you don't know what's good for you. Tyrant Hang Mei shouted, but he did not take the initiative to attack. He was at rank 4 middle stage and knew he was stronger after crossing one move with Fang Yuan since the latter was only at rank 4 initial stage. However, there was not only one rank 4 on the scene, there was also Bai Ning Bing who was standing there. Tyrant Hang Mei was sure of winning against Fang Zheng, but it would be very difficult for him to fight against two. Tyrant Hang Mei, why are you being so careful? Bai Ning Bing, you deal with the others. Tyrant Hang Mei is mine. Fang Yuan laughed loudly and shrugged his shoulders before charging towards Tyrant Hang Mei again. I will give you five minutes. If you can't finish it by then, I will take over. Bai Ning Bing slightly raised her brows, her blue eyes flashing with sharp light. Boastful juniors, hearing Fang and Bai's casual conversation, Tyrant Hang Mei felt his anger was about to burst out. 
he had a violent temperament, he already outdid himself by maintaining his patience till now. Knowing that the situation was hard to improve, he threw away his other thoughts and let the murderous aura in his mind surge forth. Fight, two sides collided. Fang Yuan against Tyrant Heng, Mei while Bai Ning Bing suppressed the remaining members of the Ten Tyrants. It was a chaotic battlefield. Boulders were smashed, mountain creeks ran dry, caves collapsed, and there were sounds of thunder like explosions. Tyrant Heng Mei became more fearful. Fang Yuan possessed bitter strength Gu, his strength and fighting strength grew the more injuries he suffered. When he crossed moves against Fang Yuan just before, he had thought the so-called Little Beast King was no more than that. Reaching the halfway stage, his expression turned grave. And when Fang Yuan burst out with six beast phantoms at the same time, Tyrant Hang Mei's face lost color. This Little Beast King, how could he be so strong? Not only is his goo worm combination superior to mine, he also has plentiful battle experience. How did he live to have such skillful and ruthless moves, there is not even a shadow of a young person in him. He is simply a hundred-year-old monster. No wonder he acts so overbearingly, with such strength, even I would have no worries in acting like this. I have failed bad this time, I must retreat. Fang Yuan met frontal attacks with swift and fierce strikes, like a fierce tiger leaving the mountain or a flood dragon overturning the seas. Tyrant Hang Mei was gasping and his energy and blood were in disorder from Fang Yuan's attacks. The main point was, every time Fang Yuan suffered injuries, he would become stronger. Now, Tyrant Hang Mei was already not able to continue fighting against Fang Yuan. If Fang Yuan became even stronger, that would be too horrible. Every time Tyrant Heng Mei thought of this, his fighting spirit decreased by a little. As the fight continued, he did not dare to attack at all. There were clear opportunities to attack Fang Yuan, but he started hesitating. What should I do, attack or not? With such thoughts, how could he fight well? Tyrant Heng Mei was slowly falling into a passive situation. Fang Yuan, however, had let go of all his apprehension. His attacks were like the tides, coming waves after waves, continuous and endless. Beast phantoms flashed one after another in the air, there would be violent sounds every time Fang Yuan attacked. The explosive sounds came again and again, all the people who heard it felt their hearts throb in fear. What kind of fierce offense is this? Even a formidable senior like Tyrant Hang Mei is not Fang Zheng's match. Fang Zheng is clearly at rank 4 initial stage, but he is suppressing the middle stage Tyrant Hang Mei. Little Beast King, many people were secretly observing the battle and thought over this nickname of Fang Yuan. Who is the tyrant here? Mang Quang felt quite helpless. He could tell Fang Yuan was more brutish and more unreasonable than Tyrant Hang Mei. The fiendish tyrant Heng Mei paled in comparison to Fang Zheng. Fang Zheng don't go too far, tyrant Heng Mei spurted out blood. His chest, arms and legs were all completely fractured. He wanted to retreat, but Fang Yuan had already seen through his plan. Bai Ning Bing killed the other members of the Ten Tyrants and firmly locked him down. Howl howl howl, howl howl howl. Fang Yuan pointed his finger, six large beast phantoms turned into solid forms and fell down from the sky, submerging Tyrant Heng Mei. Bam! A loud sound echoed and dust scattered everywhere. Tyrant Heng Mei was beaten to a pulp, his internal organs and bone fragments splattered over the ground. Gasp! Countless sharp inhaling noises could be heard from the surroundings.